Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Cars of the Week. This week we had the topic of USDM cars. I'm finally back from my vacation and this is another day late. I had some unexpected plans yesterday, but uh, let's get on and see who came in 5th place. In the 5th place spot we have Dean Sheeks. He's got a crazy drag Mustang build here. Um, I believe it's a V8. I can't remember specifically. I really like how he did the Ford badge on the front there. Not a lot of cars you see an S tuner with a badge on uh, on the front and rear, but he actually took the time to put the logo in there, and it actually makes it look a lot better, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, take a look at this crazy piping in here. Like uh, this thing is insane. I would not want to go up against this in anything, even if I was in Forza with a Bugatti Veyron, because I hate those. I don't like those cars at all. It looks good though. And in the fourth place spot, we have Harrison Foster, and he's got a uh, stanced Mustang here. Now, I'm normally not a fan of a stanced Mustang, but this thing actually looks pretty awesome. I'm uh, I'm really surprised with how it turned out. Actually, I I didn't expect a stanced Mustang to just work like it does with this. I've seen pictures of stanced Mustangs before, but they never really caught my eye. But this one did. In the third place spot, we have M. Rifke, and he's got the Lords GT40, or 4 GT, sorry, um, from Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. It turned out really nicely. I like the way he did this. The uh, the creativity is really nice, and I always love to see his recreations from this game. Uh, some crazy cars come out of this game, so it's pretty cool to see them recreated in S-Tuner. And in the second place spot, we have Ian, Firnaus. and he's got Team Orca's Viper, that is the GTSR version, and it turned out really nicely. I remember seeing this in Gran Turismo 2 or 3, I can't remember specifically, but uh, that's where I noticed this thing the most from, and it is really nice. I like it. I really like seeing cars from Gran Turismo's because it, uh, it just brings back a lot of nostalgia. And in the first place spot, we have Bart Kubiak with probably the best Dodge Neon I've ever seen in my life. This thing is insane. It is definitely inspired by Japanese cars, and it is amazingly a good-looking Dodge Neon. I don't know how that happened, but uh, here it is right here. You witnessed a good-looking Dodge Neon, and thank you for that. I mean, it's also called an SRT4, but... <laughs> So thank you to everyone that submitted a car for this week's topic. Next week, we're going to have the topic of rally cars. Be sure to get those in by next Wednesday, and I will see you guys next time.